In an earlier lesson, we used the t-test of means to examine differences between two levels of a single variable. We can extend this sort of analysis to more than two levels per factor, or to analyses where we examine two factors simultaneously. This more complex analysis is known as analysis of variance, or ANOVA. My name's Steve Baskoff. I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of the Gene and Alexander Hurd Libraries of Vanderbilt University. If you found your way to this lesson by some means other than our landing page, you might be interested to know that it's part of a series of lessons called Code Graph. To find out more about these lessons, please visit vanderbilt.lt slash code graph. We're going to look at one factor analysis of variance, although we will mention more complex examples later on. In the t-test of means, we saw that we could determine whether there was a difference between the means of two levels of a factor, that is two groups of an independent variable. Analysis of variance can go beyond that and test whether there are differences among three or more levels or groups. In the t-test of means example, we looked at some data that were collected from a cockroach electro retinogram experiment where we shined red and blue light on the eyes of a cockroach and then observed how they responded differently. And so we had a data set like this that had voltages of the response to blue and red light. However, we might want to conduct an experiment that's more complicated than this, where we expose the cockroach to more than two colors. For example, we could expose the roach to red, green, and blue light. And in that case, we would like to know whether there are differences among all three of the colors rather than just between two. 